Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to yet another episode of the Switch It Up Show. My name is Glenn, and I will be one of the hosts. But just like they say in Zelda, it is dangerous to go alone. I need to take something. I need to take someone with me on this journey through the Nindies, the Nintendo Indie Games. And that can only be one man, the man with a plan. The man who never can't but always can, Seth Trav. That's me, brother. How you doing? I'm doing well, my man. How are you this fine, oh my god, what is it? March evening. It is. It is March. I watched four hours of Justice League today. And uh, in keeping with your ultra good Ooh, intro, thank you. Uh, the game I'm actually reviewing today is called Ultra Goodness 2. Ultra Goodness 2. Well, my man, I hope that that game inflicts some ultra goodness on me because my game is actually called Infliction, the Extended Cut. But before we get to that, let's let these sweet beats inflict some joy on each of us and all of you out there. The first game on the episode today is going to be Infliction Extended Cut. Infliction is an interactive nightmare, a horrific exploration of the darkness that can lurk within the most normal looking suburban home. Wander through the remnants of a once happy family, reading letters and journals, listening to voicemails, and piecing together clues to understand the tell terrible events that led you here. However, you are not alone. Something else has remained in the house. A being of infinite, infinite grief and rage, and hopefully better reading skills. While you hunt for clues, it haunts you, waiting for its chance to unleash its anger on you. Can you survive long enough to find atonement? You are not alone. A restless AI enemy will be stalking you, and you really don't want to be caught. Will you hide or find some way to fight back? It features a warped reality, explore a realistic, interactive suburban house that gets more fractured and twisted the deeper you go. Piece it together, read letters, find diaries, and examine the precious mementos of a broken family to understand the terrible events that have led you here. It's almost too real, the story is grounded in real world domestic tragedy, tragedy. Oh, that fears and hurts that we all know broken hearts, betrayed trust, grief, and loss. It features light and dark. The power of the Unreal renders a photorealistic environment with dynamic lights and shadows that can dazzle you or plunge you into the darkness. This game is on PS4 and PS5 in the PlayStation Store. It was released on December 22nd of the year 2020. And of course, if you purchased it on PS4, you get the PS5 version, and that was at $19.99. This game is rated M for blood, strong language, and violence. And Mr. Trap, I'm happy to report that you and I kind of experienced this uh, this game a little bit together. We did the share play yeah, on the PS5. Yeah. And I was, yeah. uh, uh, actually, I asked you, I was like, did the share play look good? And you, you were pretty impressed with the quality of the share play I was experience. very impressed. I was very, very impressed with the share play on PS5. Absolutely, man. It, it seems like the whole like, everything just runs a little bit better on PS5. And now I did not play the PS4 version of this. I played the PS5 version because I was I was you know perturbed to say the least. Um, but what I what I noticed was like I don't know what the graphics looked like on PS4, but man, do I feel like they look good on PS5. Like the detail at which. The, that that you like hear experience and see when you're in this house i feel like is it's up there i loved being able to like oh you can open everything and you're just going through a suburban house like you can go through all the drawers you can go through all the fridge you can turn on all the appliances you can turn on the stove like you anything that you feel like you could probably do in a real house you can do in this game so i feel like the attention to detail in this is high and that is something that you want when you're doing one of these like kind of like interactive 
realistic horror games where Revival, something is horror, in yeah it was something is, it, exactly because like i mean they make it fe- because of that attention to detail it feels more real like every time i was like oh i wonder if i could do this i would go over check and interact with it and i could and i was like oh that's cool like if, if you want to open up the fridge check out the eggs and pull one out and look at it you can do that um i don't know why you'd want to but you can um there's a lot of exploration that you can do in this game that's there and because of that it like it adds to the atmosphere and makes it all seem more real because you're interacting with everything and the game is interacting with you this this, i feel like the sound design in this game is really good too because there are moments where you're walking through this house and you hear everything you hear like the like the branches like hitting up against the window if there's a storm you hear the wind you hear yourself walking through the house and they do such a good job of painting that picture of being alone like in your house at night and you're like you hear that noise and you're like is that me is that something is that somebody else like i feel like we've all kind of been there maybe after you watch a scary movie and you're like taking that walk to go lock the door and you're like you're like looking around and you're like it's just me right like it's just me like this this movie does this movie it feels like a movie because of how like the tension that it builds like this game does a great job at like establishing that atmosphere and keeping you in it the one like curse and like it's like a blessing and a curse though because this game requires like all of your um stamina i guess because it is an exercise in tension that's what this type of game is not that like other horror games aren't but at least in some of them like you know you're playing doom you're playing even like alien isolation which i feel like flexes that muscle a lot you've got a weapon you really have a weapon in this you got flashlight um you you, you could see a knife can't pick it up (laughs) even on the cover (laughs) even on the cover of the game you see somebody coming after you with a knife you got a flashlight so I mean, you don't really have anything. And they mention it in a synopsis. It's like, are you going to try to, like, fight for survival and try to find out, like, and dive deeper and find out, like, what's going on? Or are you going to hide? And, like, you know, I got to I got to right now. I I kept running. And I love, like, I love horror. I really do. It's my, it's my, it's my, it's my favorite thing to watch. I read about it all the time. I'm way into it. But, like, that feeling of just, like, being on the edge the whole time, like, I just want something to jump out and like it takes so long for like something to happen they drag those moments out and i don't know if it's actually so long or if it's just that they are so skilled at doing that that they make you feel like it's taking so long like they're prolonging it like they're like just like toward like they do a great job it's scary it's really scary um they 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 hit the nail on the head i feel like for exactly what they're trying to do and the fact that the sound is so good and the graphics are so good um like they're kind of firing on all cylinders here the really only bad thing it's not bad the only thing that i struggle with is that because they do such an excellent job at what they're establishing um like it's scary it's really it's it's a scary game and i don't even know if it's necessarily scary like it's it's stress inducing there's a lot of like there's a lot of on edge play a lot of games in my spare time to like relax and have fun and hang out with my friends and that's why it was good to play this game with you because i could kind of like you know we can kind of balance each other out a little bit i need someone to talk to when i'm going through this um and so i, I mean i don't like that fe- i don't like that feeling um like in a video game it's a passive experience in a movie maybe if in your movie if you're in a movie theater it's a more active experience when everybody's reacting but when i'm constantly on the edge of my seat and i'm waiting i'm waiting and waiting like it's an interactive experience and i feel like i'm kind of being tortured in a way <laughs> you know i just want it to i just want it to happen uh it's like it's like the longest jump scare of all time <laughs> you know um that you're that you're experiencing um so for that for me for that that's a negative cause i don't like that but that's what this game is. They don't hide that going into it. Um, it's nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents. Infliction Extended Cut, a Blowfish Studios. Um, this is this is like it's hard for me, man. It's hard. Um, I'm gonna give this a high score. I'm gonna give this a four point five because it's really good. I want to know more about it, but it scares me. It scares me, yeah, man. And I wow. don't. I don't give it like it's hard because. Like the way that this game makes me feel makes me want to play it less, but it does such a good job at establishing its atmosphere and what it's trying to do. Then I want to play it more. That being said, this would be something that would be great to play with you and like stream it or something and experience it that way. It's too scary for me to play by myself. Like the house, like 
if you live in if you like this is your house man this feels like your house it It feels too real like even when i was sitting here watching it while my girlfriend was screaming and laughing next to me um it was great it was definitely great maybe we will stream it check it out on our youtube channel backslash preach network Mm -hmm. uh and look out for infliction final cut yeah uh infliction extended cut extended cut yeah i'm not brave enough i need your help i need your strength (laughs) (laughs) maybe you could get some strength from this one because you play as a wild king shooting up all sorts of demons it's called ultra goodness 2 and i reviewed it on the ps5 it's from our friend over at retaliaca games and it's three dollars and 99 cents currently on sale the offer ends april 1st 2021 Kill enemies and maneuver through a hurricane of fireballs. Can you take on gruesome enemy hordes, deadly traps, and challenging bosses? Ultra Goodness 2 is a bloody mess of dynamic and fun action about the struggle between good and evil in the world. Dark forces are ready to be torn to pieces in this bloody action game, but now it's blended with the time manipulation and availability of permanent companion cat. Ultra Goodness is about having fun, so turn off your brain and show them your rage. It features battles between good and evil, fast-paced shooting action gameplay, space-time motion mechanic, fluffy white cat companion with powerful upgrades, splatter blood all over the levels, and you get the PS5 version free if you purchase it for the PS4. So, ladies and gentlemen, first and foremost, Ultra Goodness 2 is a shmup. We never played Ultra Goodness 1. At least I didn't. I don't know anything about the first one. Uh, But it seems like demons tried to invade the world in some sort of a medieval time. And a king went ahead and started shooting things up with with a sword of magic, perhaps. Uh, That's what goes on here. Uh, Except this time, you hang out with a cat as well. Uh, And if you think it's one of those easygoing shmups where you can kind of just turn off your brain and rage they lie to you a little bit because you do have to actually pay attention to a couple things especially early on before you can actually unlock the ability to use any of your coins your rubies things like that it makes it a unique experience the music is pretty good uh it's definitely like dubstep like hardcore you wouldn't necessarily expect it because it's got a real sort of elementary uh vibe to it almost it you go into it expecting it to be sort of uh carefree and a little bit kitsch because it looks a little blues clues maybe uh but it's not not at all it's dubstep in like i don't know skrillex is that the dude is he still about yeah it's all skrillex man it's it's dropping the beat for you and it's intense uh, and you got to be on your feet you got to stay on your toes and you got to make sure those cats scratch baby you know how it goes uh it's it's interesting um it it definitely is something that wound up sucking up my attention more than i thought it was going to and for it to be on sale right now and to be one of the only new games available on the ps5 right now especially at that cheap cheap price of 3.99 i think that makes ultra goodness 2 a pretty great game so i am going to give ultra goodness 2 on the ps5 a four out of five some quality scores my man and that's an amazing price point for a game on the ps5 right now i think so uh because most of the games that are out on ps5 are over 30 dollars. anything else you got to get ps4 and then hope they give you the free upgrade which it seems like most everything is doing Mm -hmm. Uh, but like you said you ran into a few situations where it wasn't gonna give you the free one that is true but they saw the light they saw the light over at blowfish studios and they 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 hooked us up yeah awesome my man well thank you for joining me uh once again uh, on this episode of the switch it up show no switch games no surprisingly <laughs> this time this episode not a single switch game I don't, on the show. I don't think we've ever done that before you know what no. you know but we have hundreds and hundreds of episodes of games for the nintendo switch and you know what we like to do here we always love to switch it up